What is a blue chip recruit? They are typically perceived as can't miss prospects, who are desired by most organizations. Blue chip athletes are likely to have an immediate impact on teams that acquire them and have proven skills, rather than speculative or untapped potential. But it is an exclusionary rule. If you do not have at least a 50% blue chip ratio, you're pretty unlikely to actually take home the prize. Right now, I don't think we are a team, a franchise that can afford to pass on what we think are blue chip talents just because we think that position is covered or we have enough talent. Because honestly, we don't have enough talent anywhere on this team, in my opinion. Um, uh, I forgot who said it earlier. We don't have any superstars on this team. We don't have any blue chip players on this team right now. Now, with that being said, like I would love Marvin Harrison Jr., but I think Olu Kishanu, a guy that I know super well. Is to me, the biggest failure of Ronald Rivera in Washington, to me, his biggest failure was the failure and the inability to find elite talent or attract it here to Washington. What we have in this building is not good enough. Coaching played a big factor. Hashtag coaching matter. 100% I believe in it. But I also believe we don't have any blue chip guys on this team. There's not a pro bowler on this roster. I want blue chip guys that can play on downs one through three in a football game. We don't have any of those right now. So anybody this new regime decides to move on from, whoop de fucking do. This year, it can be loaded with blue chip players. Caleb Williams, obviously at the top, Drake May, maybe they go number one and number two in the draft. Marvin Harrison Jr. would be a number one wide receiver in the NFL today. The same with Brock Bowers. I mean, the second that Brock Bowers comes in the NFL, I think he's going to be one of the best tight ends in the league. Jared Verse, the edge rusher from Florida State. Olu Fashanu from Penn State, the offensive tackle. Joe Alt from Notre Dame, their offensive tackle. Chop Robinson, the edge rusher from Penn State. Cooper DeGene, the corner slash safety from Iowa. You've got corners like Kool-Aid McKinstry and Kalen King from Alabama and Penn State. So like this class, it's extremely talented. I want a blue chip player straight up. We just don't have a difference maker on this football team. Terry's good. Heck yeah, Terry's really good. Hun, he got potential to be really good. But if you at that fourth pick and you ain't going nowhere, man, you might as well look at And if Marvin Harrison is on the board at four, you can't pass that up. I know everybody's going to be like, but dang, bless shot, we need O-line. True, we do need O-line. This team got a lot of holes. But the biggest hole on this team is difference maker. And even if, okay, say we lose the rest of the games, which I think we're going to do, because I don't see us beating none of these teams that we're playing. I definitely don't see us beating the Jets. I don't see us beating San Fran. I don't see us beating Dallas unless they sit everybody. And even if they sit everybody, it don't even matter because we're losing the teams like the Giants. That was banged all the way out. So Dallas second string probably beat us because we already checked out. So if you can get... A Marvin Harrison Jr. Or trade down a little bit, grab something extra, and get a Brock Bowers. That's the route I would go if I'm the new general manager. But I'm not the general manager, so maybe the general manager will get an offensive lineman early. I wouldn't be mad at that. But I, I just think we need a difference maker. We already got Brian Robinson. We, we need a little speed on the running back end. We need, we need difference maker. We need some explosion on this offense. Period. We need it. It'll make Sam's job easier. It'll make Terry's job easier. It'll make Jahan's job easier. And we got two second rounders. Even we can even use those and go up and grab an offensive lineman if one is there, if a tackle's there. We already, last year we drafted, in my opinion, when I did, when I did my research last year, we already got the second best center in the draft last year. Ricky Strongberg from the SEC. Went against Jalen Carter. Went against the other big boy in Philly. The best center out of the SEC. We got him already on the team. Wiley, we all can't stand him. But we can use him. We can, we can put him at guard next year. We can put him at left guard. Sam Cosby, another really good player. And then we could, we could get him some tackles. Hell, if you want to get two tackles in the second round, whatever you want to do. You got $90 million in free agency money? Spend it. Grab some linebackers. Grab some difference makers. We need difference. We got enough solid players on this team. We need some blue chip players. That's all I want. 
that's what we need if we're going if we're going the beginning of the next step should be difference maker and if i know josh harris like i know josh harris because i'm a philly fan we're going to get a difference maker we're going to get them we need them i prefer brock bowers I, I i really prefer brock if we're at four i know that's a little high to pick a tight end but if we can get somebody to come up to that point give us an extra pick and we can and we can get bowers six seven or fifth or whatever hey why not why not get bowers if somebody needs a quarterback somebody wants Penix and somebody wants may then boom if we're not getting caleb there's no need to get a quarterback and up is the line yeah we need that that's urgent i know that but a blue chip difference maker is urgent too and we just and that's what we need even i remember when i'm um, cincinnati when they got chase when they got chase when they got jamar chase their old line wasn't all that you can build the old line but a difference maker changes the game but hit that like hit that subscribe hit that share hit that bell more videos is on the way and let's take command